welcome it's Jelly Cube. I'm here with another of my Tutti Fruity series. I hopefully will have marked them one, two, three, whatever, how many I'm going to do in this series of Tutti Fruity pours. I've done the different techniques or I'm going through a lot of the different techniques with my Tutti Fruity colours. So this one, how could I possibly miss out the double dipping? Dipping one canvas onto the next with my Tutti Fruity colours. Couldn't miss that technique. It's very easy for beginners and it's a wonderful one to do with a children, family or friends because you always usually get good results provided your um, acrylic paint is mixed a little bit on the thicker side I find. I think it um, definitely works better if your paint is mixed on the thicker side for a tutti frutti pour. So what I am going to do, oh, actually I'll do it on both canvases. So one canvas I'll put the paint on, the other canvas I'll use to dip. But I do want to put just um, some paint on both of the canvases. This was white with a little um, metallic silver added. So it's kind of a really pale grey. But what the metallic silver will do is... Uh, make it glisten with those lovely metallics in the paint and um, as with all of my series I'm using my kiss pouring medium my lovely global paints there is a link underneath to purchase in US and of course it's made in Australia by global colors and what was the other thing yeah and now you can get it in the US and Canada from the link I have in the description box I will try and remember to put the link also um, in the first comment in the pinned comment and there's also a video there on how to mix your acrylic paint for acrylic pouring each technique does um, require a, a different um, consistency I find you get better results with some some techniques use thinner consistency and some need a thicker some are thicker than some. So, 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 right here. We might start off. I'll maybe try and do this one in a butterfly shape. Maybe, probably will turn out nothing like a butterfly shape, but let's give it a go. So this is my Berry Delicious, which is the cool red mixed with phalo blue and a blob of black if you want it to go really is that kind of a butterfly wing? <laughs> I guess it might be so. These are small canvases. So I haven't got to put too much paint on here. And I usually do like doing like a V shape on the um, on the dips. It kind of, um, to me, gives like a really nice effect. So this is the cool red. Probably would have done better if I'd have pen, pinned, penned out that um, a f butterfly kind of shape on the outline, but it probably will not end up anything like a butterfly, butterfly shape. So this is my uh, orange, and I always mix a good dab of um, yellow in there to really make it pop. But of course, can't go without the yellow to be my tutti fruity. So yeah, if you haven't seen all the tutti fruity series, um, please check in my um, recent videos or the playlist for the tutti fruity series. I think I'll uh, add a playlist of tutti fruities. This is the 50% metallic gold, 50% silver. Makes this lovely champagne. I call it my champagne gold. Uh, I have got lots more colours to add there, but maybe, 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 just to make it pop this blue that I made up. It was phalo blue, but I added a good dab of gold in it, so as to, again, 
add the metallic -y looks. I wonder if I go like this up there, <laughs> whether it will add anything or it will probably look, like I said, completely um, crazy. So rightio, I am going to now get the other canvas. I might pull this over here. And we literally just turn the other canvas over. These are 20 by 25 canvases, so not very big. I have done them on the large 50 by 55. Just, I think when I last did a tutti frutti, uh, uh, no, I, when I last did the um, dips, this is what I had. I have got the other one to it there that I tried to do in a butterfly shape. But this one dried beautifully and looks awesome. So that's how good they can look from a very simple technique. And like I said, children love doing this because it is actually and was years ago taught in schools to um, dipping canvases. Like even my son at 40 something used to do this and balloon kisses at school all them many years ago but they didn't actually call it balloon kiss back then I thought I guess they just called it dipping the balloon onto the canvas rightio so just um, just press nice and gently probably a good idea is to flip it over so you make sure you've got paint on both sides of the canvas equally now if any of my paints were too thin they're gonna go muddy that's why I prefer a thicker consistency so to stop them going muddy so with a wing and a prayer let's hit see it sit, sit, sit. oh wow 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 oh look at that how beautiful is that that is you see yourself or children doing this uh, dip technique they would love that effect and be so happy as soon as my two and a half year old granddaughter is old enough which I probably could do this kind of technique with her because that is just gorgeous look at that beautiful 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 all I will add to that now is a few 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 to make it my signature work is um, I have a little balloon here well it's a normal size balloon they'll put a little bit of water in and it adds a little bit of weight so I can just give it a few oh, look at that you can certainly transfer those balloon kisses onto cardstock to make your own cards out of your balloon kissing wow 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 that is gorgeous I <laughs> I love this particular um, tutti frutti paw. Look at it. I don't think I should add any more kisses, should I? It is absolutely gorgeous. But that's my signature in there is my balloon kiss. So just, just a few. You don't absolutely have to. But I can see because I've used lots of metallics in there, it's actually glistening like... Oh, it's just beautiful so all I would do to this now is give it a whiz over with my heat wand heat wands don't blow the paint anywhere they simply heat up to burst any air bubbles and I find it helps the paint absorb into the canvas a little bit further or quicker not that you want to really dry it too quickly because that can also um, cause you problems okay I am super duper happy with that kind of lost my balloon shape and my um, butterfly shape but isn't it gorgeous tutti frutti deeper rooty uh, probably should cut that bit out <laughs> oh god you silly jelly Okay, my lovelies, I will be back tomorrow. Check out the Tutti Fruity paws, the others that I've already done, and links for all your products are down in the description box. Bye for now.